Hello everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Overworld Blues playing as Gorgonia under Big Queen Mamma Esmeralda. She's now Italian, I guess. But regardless, let's start a focus because we need to continue killing off Klamath. So last time we literally just got to Gorgonia and let us do the question of cannibalism next. For decades, cannibalism has been a big problem among the tribes of Oregon. It is our choice whether to attempt to move away from this practice or embrace it. So right now, well, this, this isn't exactly where we left off yesterday as you can see from the uh, amount of political power. But, I'd managed to crush this side, but this side of Klamath, not doing so well, which isn't very good. It looks like we might have just made an encirclement and they died. So we're struggling a little bit against Klamath, but right now, we gotta think long term. We have to take out the Washington Brotherhood, because they own parts of Oregon, which means we'll have to fight them at some point. Now, Port Maw is a puppet of them under Granger Storm, but, so we gotta make sure we got enough manpower and divisions to fight these guys, so... In the interim, we will have to get more manpower, and we're going to conquer it. I'm probably going to take out a royal next, just so we can get a royal proper, because that seems like a very good place to own. It takes 30 days. We can wait a little bit. It only takes 30 days. We can spend our political power doing other things, like helping other settlements, sending out manual prospectors. Uh, we could buy slaves. How many slaves do we have currently? We have about 789. That's not bad. We could definitely use more range, because these planes are... Well, they're okay. They're definitely okay. They're not great. But we have a couple comments that we should probably address. Let's see. You come here. There you go. And we can do the Queen's Gods. Very good. Uh, we're all the same division. Couple comments. First of all, get anti tank. Don't forget that, you know, these guys have armor, and armor sucks to fight against without anti tank. So, yeah, get anti tank. We'll do that. We'll definitely do that. Finally, we have Klamath. At this point, I'm just going to annex them. I, did not, I don't want to deal with them anymore. Uh, they don't deserve peace, honestly. They really don't. So, there's that. Let's do this, just to fight against them immediately. We need more guns, we need more manpower. Actually, we don't need more guns, we just need more manpower, that's all we need. Uh, day glow, the war on the Romans, very good. We do need to get to a service until dismissal. We are on 12% population already, which is not great for us. Veterans training, let's the division strong. It's only 200, why not? Cool. And the blood cult. Cannibalism isn't an issue. No, it is just the rampant use of it. We need to refine cannibalism and perfect it. Give a recruitable population factor and division recovery rate. Which would be great, because right now, wide range cannibalism, we hurt our recruit recruitable population factor, but we do get a benefit out of doing that. Not bad. Dynamite? Ah, oh, good. We'll get some of that. Let's grab some cannibalistic marrow drinkers using flamethrowers. I think that'd be quite fitting, because we like to get a little roasty-toasty with our food, you know? No one... I guess we sort of like a raw meal, but... I'm thinking we probably want to get a little bit more roasty-toasty. It makes things taste better, right? That's why. And we're out of manpower, of course, which makes sense. Anything we can do about that here, because I just want to core this air territory as fast as possible. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, you gotta go at Wasteland Eradication there. That, that's just... it's too bad to not do that. Uh, for you guys, go ahead and come to Riders. Oh, we can also use tanks, maybe. Uh, we should have enough infantry armor for that. Yep, we do, which is good, which is very, very good. We would probably need less manpower now for that, but that is despicable. That is absolutely horrendous. Holy cow. Go to war immediately. If I do this, could you guys actually win? It looks like overall, it looks like you probably can, which is nice. We'll probably go to war with Kimolt Station as well next, since we do have claims on them. Yep. Yeah, there you go, not bad. Oh, uh, we could probably get claims on everybody. Re eh, well, we don't have claims on you. Why do I have claims on this part of Oregon? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, well. Blackfoot and Phoenix Tribe. Very cool. No. Anywhere else we potentially have claims on? It doesn't seem like it. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. The Quapsy Culinary. The preparation of a small of a meal is important to its flavor, and that's why we get flamers. Because we care about quite a bit of the flavor. And if we can cook the food a little bit more, well, maybe we'll have less diseases that way. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Beautiful. You now these guys are cut off and they can't do anything about it. I love it. And I hope you love it as well. Let's see. Stability. Sure. We could use a little bit more stability. You can lower research speed just by a little bit. Let's see. Now, because we've chosen our cannibalistic path, comment was, or said from yesterday, comment was, let's get bloody, my friends. A little blood spilled never hurt us. It only hurts our enemies. Ah, uh, beautiful. Um, I'd recommend movement, guys. Movement is always good to do. Ah, uh, beautiful. And there goes a royal. I could annex them, but no. I just have claims. Uh, I do have only have claims on them, which sucks. That's all right. It happens. Let's see, pacification. That's getting better. 76, 20%. 
We already are on outsider battalions. We're gonna go to war immediately for Kimmel Station. Not bad. Uh, let's make sure we have an airbase here. Just at least one. Come down here as well. Get two of them going. That'll be fine. After that, build some more civilian factories. I, I love civilian factories too much. There you go. That'll be good enough. Uh, because of this, do that. We actually might consider going down to take out more California so we can core more territory. That's why I'm not really spending my political power right now. We just gotta core more territory, that's all. Klamath proper is definitely worth coring. 182 culinary corpse culinary. Grabbing takeout. Eating people in our own tribe is probably a bad idea. Let's look elsewhere for meat. Ah, meat is so good. We love meat. Dismantle the scavenging station. Not that many cats. 813 guys right there. Do we have... Uh, yes, it's infinite. Down here. Are we just finding anyone else? 80 days, that's not bad. You might as well do that. It's fine. Old World Blues. Oh, we found nothing, but they were stared into the what was, guttering, and spent. Okay. That sucks. We didn't find too much, but oh well. It happens, you know. From time to time. Oh, we could grab that. It's only 64 days. Let's get better dogs. Do we even have dogs? We have some dogs. That's good. Riders, you have dogs. Good. We get anti-tank. Don't forget anti-tank. Mr. Mocha Lover, you're going to forget about doing anti-tank. I know. I know. That's looking better already. Nice soccer tactics. Very good. And this do Kazib... Oh, Kazibars. I hate Kazibars. Ah, oh, Camel Station. We can go to war immediately if we really wanted to. In which we are... Do they attack me? Nope. Can we attack them? I do pretty well? I think so. For the most part. Maybe not here, but that's okay. And it's going to cost manpower to get rid of, but that's okay. Once we can get this, this would be very nice. 182. Very good. Ah, grabbing takeout. Meet with the red flag slavers. Leftovers from the raiders. Raiders always leave such a mess. Let's see what their sale price is for it. Ah, sale price. Love it. We need more resources? Not really, no. We could buy more slaves, but that's not going to really help us out that much. We hold five manpower. Four, two, five manpower. Okay. Oh, we need more infantry armor. That's not good. That's really not good. Go and do that for now. Build that back up. That's fine. What do we have here? Flamethrowers. Good. Hey, look. Take out. Beautiful. Tasty. Yumalicious. If that's a case, come over here. Do that. Take you down to ten. That'll be fine. Put you at the bottom. So we want to make more planes. We need more electricity as well, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. You guys come over here, have a good time with these guys. And we are still only making a single division tanks. Yeah. 20... Oh, almost 20 combat which These are basically the same thing. It's alright. Whatever. Hmm. We're sure Mountain Home Air Force Base. More than 20 manpower, which is going to hurt us. Well, we need that, at least. What are we building? That's not bad. That's really not bad. Leftovers from the Raiders, and then... Ooh. Does not have... Oh, we had to do one of these two. Oh, it doesn't really matter then. I don't really care. Let's go over here. It's Oregon Trails. Ancient pioneers used to seek out this land, and we are wasting it. Let us try to rebuild what was once lost. That is a great idea. Alright, with this much political power... We could go over here, but... Mm, I don't know. We can wait on that. Something that we haven't normally choose... You know what? I'm going to probably choose rough and ready shovelers. I probably normally choose that one, but there's not really much else that we can really choose that would be very good for us. And I am building up infrastructure here anyway, so... You might as well get the most out of it, right? How much are we missing? Oh, casually 4,000 manpower. That's all. Just 4,000. And... Less than 20% resistance. Come on. Drop further. Drop, 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 drop. Anything else here? Training programs? Good. Get even better doggos next. I know I'm ignoring uh, what I said earlier. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm ignoring uh, anti-tank. That's what it was. Oregon Trail is great. Simple tools. Let's do that one. Tool making is pretty hard. We can't mess up a hammer, though. It's just a rock on a stick. At least normally it is. Sometimes you get hammers that aren't rocks on sticks. It's more like rocks on rocks. Or sticks on sticks. But then again, that wouldn't be a very good hammer. But that's okay. 12 manpower. Not bad. Doggo's looking good. Infantry armor's looking great as well. Actually, uh, we need... Oh. How much infantry armor do we have? 790. It's not bad. You could probably... 790. You do this one. Save a little bit more on manpower for now. Saves us how much? Oh, Shoshone Nation, come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Not bad. Lots of expansion, which we love, but... Mm. There we go. It's not bad. It's not great. But this gives us almost 400 manpower. Yeah, more like 390. But that requires less manpower for us to garrison, so... It's a trade-off. 
see what we can do. I mean, our armies isn't, they aren't bad now. They're just not great. Uh, that's not really worth coring. The den really isn't worth coring either, but to get down here, especially to Redding, we're definitely going to have to core it. So, you know, or I could core this stuff, 15,000. That might be, meh. Modoc, it's really the den that we need to core. 164, that's not bad. Uh, war support, stability. We'll probably go with more war support. And invite southern traders. By inviting traders from the south, we can improve the riches of our own people, which is a good idea. Uh, we're having a good time, having a good time. Taking these guys out. How many men have we lost? 54 versus 1,000. Not bad whatsoever. Good. Uh, we could go to war with Vault City next. Hmm. How strong is Vault City? 1,000 manpower. I'm thinking. What if we go to war with these guys? Oh, they're, oh, they're allied with Vault City then. No, 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 no. You know what's going to happen? I'll probably end up in a war against these guys. So let's let's just be ready just in case. You never know what might happen here. Hmm, that's not looking good. But it's going down by 0 0.4, 0 0.35 probably a day. That ain't too bad. Hmm, yeah, let's, let's save up a little bit first. Gun wise, we're doing pretty darn awesome. Casper Venom, awesome. So that's some updated equipment. And finish up our land doctrine with Death Claw Ferocity. For even more breakthrough, more hard attack, black hand, black hand, backhand blow, and special capacities forces multiplier. Oh, uh, right now, how many do we need? 3,000? That's not too bad, actually. That's actually not too bad. Invite some of the traders. We shall do battle training. Uh, we can wait on that. Cockatish. Civilian workshop, improved tools. By using rocks to sharpen our tools, we can make them even better. Yes. Even better. Fly purebred mutts, yes. And now I'm going to grab anti tank. Oh, uh, we need more armor XP, so we can throw on some other guys. Yeah, manpower, always going to be an issue here, apparently. Alright, so to put the Gorgons, we have the Den. 164, it looks like Klamath isn't too bad metalworking. Let's grab this first. Grab that more population factor. How much do we get a day? 1.6, that's not bad. Uh, resistance, yeah, resistance, ratification. Go ahead and come up to pacification for that now. Uh, everything else, Arroyo. Yeah, we do want a core Arroyo, but we don't have, I don't think we have this cord. Oh, we do have that cord. That's nice. That's not bad. 274 is quite a bit, though. 164 isn't bad. Uh, 75. Yeah, we'll probably core with the den first. Because even though we get immediately 26,000 population cord, 34,000 is pretty much better. Artists and tools. We found a few old hollow tips that seem to detail how to make a proper old world weapon. Now, we're not going to go to war with these guys until we have anti tank. And resistance goes down, so that'll be good. You guys, yeah, we're probably going to keep infantry, so do that one. Ninja wouldn't be bad either. Resistance, how's resistance? Ah, resistance, resistance and tick shooter is better. And here it's going down, hopefully, quite by quite a bit. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Ah, there it goes. Ah, now we're looking better. Now we're definitely looking better down here. We need more support equipment though, which is not good, but whatever. Awesome. Oh, that effect is gone. No longer get weekly manpower. Alright, so be it. So be it. Boxes, please. Strong back. Artisan tools. Rooted. Oh, we can do rooted. Why not? We can do it. And let us grab. Meet with the red flag slaver. Let's have some masked merchants head south. A trade with the traders of Flagstaff in order to grab a few more meat sacks. Slightly more manpower. Every week. Every week. Klamath, right here. Now we can't quite do that yet. 87. They're getting close. They're getting super, super close. We need 95 percent. It's 95 percent compliance, which is fine. Cool. Apologies for the apocalypse. How many people do we get a month? 59. That's not a lot. Really not a lot. Of... Ooh, what's going on? Oh, you're training. That's right. Cool. Uh, how are you guys doing? Let's see. Every campaign, I always struggle with the 80s a lot. So yeah. Dealing them is going to, always going to be an issue for me. Oh, good anti tank. Let's grab three right there. And let's grab even more focus fire immediately. We're going to need to increase the number of military factors that we have, though. Do that, do that. Do that, do that. S share the wealth, spread the wealth. You know the good stuff. Meet with them, good. Now let's go ahead and do wasteland tools. Oh, we found a cache of old world tools. And we get three more civilian factories. Beautiful. Uh, what else can we do here? Sell outdated equipment? Sure. We can use more caps. There's really no point to get more... Eh, okay, we can buy slaves one more time. We can want to feel good about ourselves, right? 
Right? I think so. Thank you. Backyard workshops are great to have. Standardized tools. Good. There goes Bly. Why am I in this map mode? I don't know why. Go ahead and do that. 194 goes bye-bye. 280. We'll be able to get that done soon. And we'll be able to get Redding done soon. We need 300 political power, though. So we can core that one, and we'll core a Royal. That should really help us out. Fifth Claw Ferocity. We are done with our land option, which is amazing. Let's make sure we don't forget about that as well, which is good. And we're getting some anti-tank. Good. We have enough. Oh, look. We actually have a little bit of manpower now. Wow. Throw some of that on there. Now we have no manpower. Actually, we still have a little bit of it, which is nice. But still. West End Tools. Great. Ah, simple hunting weapons. Clubs make for good beaver bashing. Almost there, almost there. And Arroyo, thank you very much. Oh, now that is nice. Now we've got a good amount of manpower. I, I feel confident enough to go ahead and start just playing on the 80s. Which I'm probably just going to puppet the 80s because, honestly, we won't be able to deal with them that well. If, as long as we dig in, we should do okay. We should. They've got a lot of manpower. They've got quite a few divisions, but you know what? So do we. But you know what? Just in case. We'll do that. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. That should be pretty quick. Shouldn't have too many issues trying to build this up as time goes on, especially as we're trying to get more planes. And we have enough manpower and reserve. Not bad. Now, these planes aren't super great, but you know, they do what they need to do. Some hunting weapons, great. Improve hunting weapons. Maybe now they're better. They are sharper after all, which is a good thing. Uh, political power. Actually, who do we have here? Uh, Chief of Air. Uh, that's not bad. Grab. We'll grab that one first. And then we'll core this stuff down here. Alright, let's take a look at this. Occupied territories. Very good. It's only 2279, so that's not bad. Pacification. Pacification. You can just eradicate outposts for now in Arroyo. Over here, you can do the same type of deal. Eradication. Pacification. Pacification. Sporadic. Good, 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 good. At this point, how many pieces of armor? 3,400. That's not bad. Focus fire. Great. Uh, doggos. And eh, we can wait on that one. Grab that. That'd be good. That'd be fine for now. Uh, can we throw anything else on here? Demo teams? Oh, we don't have enough army XP, which really sucks. Eventually, we'll throw them on there. But you know what? As long as it got chems and empty tank, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Artisanal hunting no weapons. Why even get close? Just throw things at the enemy. A smart idea. A very smart idea. Let's go ahead and get that. Restore Mountain Home Air Force Base. Good. Demilitarization and end to slavery. Do I hear people wanting to be new slaves? Oh, look. We can go to war if we want to. We can't sell stuff right now. That's fine. 500 caps. Not bad. Not bad. Anything that gives me more defense, maybe? I kind of doubt it. Captain of Industry. Uh, infrastructure. Ooh. 15%. Outpost. You know what? I never choose this one. Let's choose that guy. I know I could be getting other stuff, I could be researching other stuff, but, you know, whatever. Let's go and grab that one, too. I could be doing more forts and stuff. How's this looking? Okay, so we're almost done with our fortification stuff. Now, we might be able to hold out, we might not be able to. It looks like we should be able to, but you really don't know until you try. So, I, this, I'm probably going to regret this. Or maybe not. I don't think I could attack and win. But, with these nine divisions here, could you actually win? Uh, maybe not. Maybe you can. Maybe maybe you can't. Number keeps going up and down. I don't know. Prioritize. Super goods. More stability for now. That's fine. Artisan hunting weapons. West End hunting weapons. Using Thunder Six in our hunting parties will allow us to hunt even more Yao Guai. Yes. Uh, it seems like it's going pretty well so far. Try to get paid soon. So some updated equipment. Good stuff. Good stuff. Some of our guys are getting injured. We lost 94 versus 159. Not bad. If we take that tile, that means they might keep attacking us. Maybe. Yeah, they keep funneling more soldiers in, and our guys keep getting tired, so it kind of sucks. Yeah. I mean, they're taking more losses than us, which is good, but still. Legion slave trade is gone. So be it. So be it. How many men do they want to lose? Like, seriously. Wasting, wasteland hunting weapons? Great. Let's come over here now. 
Ah, friends in high places. It seems that our recent purchases have caught the attention of a rather wealthy group of connoisseurs in the City of Lights, where they're giving us an offer we cannot refuse. Great. Oh, we should be able to pierce them, right? Yeah, we definitely can. Overall, we're slowly winning, I think, but even then, it's pretty slow going. The War of Casualties, that's what it's going to be called. And they take just a few more than us. Go ahead, this is a waste of time. We've lost a total of 600. They lost slightly more, which really sucks. Which really sucks. Come on, man. Come attack me or don't fight me at all. Even though I, I was the one who went to war with them. What if I did this? All but one. Come here. Are they going to attack me at all? No, all right. If they don't want to do that, so be it. Uh, we need to get stronger stuff for our guys. We need, we need more anti-tank. We need more support equipment, which is fine to get. It's fine. Go up to three. Go up to three. Do that. That should help out everyone else. We've got plenty of dogs for now. Friends in high places. Uh, finger fillet. Less manpower. Ooh, not bad. So fingers are pretty good when fried. Well, I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't. I'm not a cannibal, but you know, you do you. I do me. We all have a good time together. Scam just found something. Ooh, support technology. Nice. Very good. Go up right there. That'd be good. New Vegas player on the damn busters. Well, you're not going to win this war until you... Oh, second Nevada Road War. Now, that is interesting. They don't have a lot of manpower still. Oh, so what does that mean for them? Like, second Nevada Road War. Uh, they eventually go to war with who? Vault City, maybe? Land, Area 51, Desert Rangers, Tire Profile. Yeah, Vault City, I thought. Yeah. Yakuza. Well, actually, that's going to be very good for us then. We even have any more divisions. Happy 2280, my friends. We'll see how this war goes. Or this year goes. More propaganda? Sure. Why not? Automation? Good. Maybe get some better planes, finally. I think that would be quite nice. Better planes. Uh, let's see, that's 20 divisions. That's or 23 divisions. Quite a bit. 11 versus 10. Now, you can't get over here, so it sucks. It's really only this one that we can do anything about it. It really sucks. Boot biting? Sure. Boots make for a good bowl to boil the feet in. Huh. So 11. I can throw all 10 divisions in here. Hmm. We could try that. I doubt we'll really win there, though. We should be able to... Yeah, we're definitely piercing them, which is good, but... Hmm. Do we have any other planes, maybe, that we could just say, hey, just help them out here? You can do that, maybe. Even more ground attack. That'd be kind of nice. Refined tools. Awesome. More population, perhaps. Yes. Yes. Help them out a little bit more. If they get tired, we'll just recycle the infantry. That's fine with me. Good. Help recycle this one first. Then we'll recycle you. Good. Losses are slowly going up, but you know what? That's okay with me since uh, I really hate this group. I really hate this group here. Boot fighting, always good. Always tasty. And we'll do mine munchies. Uh, the brain always tastes the best. I, I definitely wouldn't know. That's okay. Oh, looking like you're good and ready to go. We got some trout. Their manpower is slowly going down, which is good. Help them out, help them out. Uh, basically, we have to wait for them to go to war with Vault City to actually do anything here, which is unfortunate, but so be it. Uh, we are getting more army XP, which is kind of nice. Oh, we could raise a conscription level too, but mm, at this point, I don't know about that. And it does give us quite a bit more army XP, which is actually very nice to get too. Come on, we want better planes. Having better planes would definitely help us though. 14 divisions up there. Bone Snarl, he's learning how to be a desert fox. Ah, oh, the defenses are online. Good. Mind munchies. The rivers of blood. Our art has been refined to a razor edge. Let the waste know our cruelty and bloodlust. We are coming for them next after all. We lose actually more manpower, but we'll get more division organization. So we just need to get some more manpower, that's all. And that's all. Just buy more manpower, right? Motorized flight. Very good. So now we can get biplanes. 
Oh, that's come pretty nice. Oh, they threw in more divisions, which sucks. Two. You can keep throwing them in, and we're going to keep losing guys, but you're going to keep losing guys as well, so... You're slowly getting drained, son. Slowly getting drained as I get more political power, so I can core more stuff, which is always a good thing. Five. How many men have we lost? About 1,100. They've lost 1,800. So we're actually doing better than them now. They're taking way more losses than us, which is a good thing. And we can pierce them, so... Wait, we completely lost. Wow, thanks a lot, game. Uh, 1,200 versus 1,900. That's 11 divisions there. Get a little more planning first. Did you guys learn anything about that? Like, Hell Spider, Desert Fighter... Ah, oh, we learned about Rivers of Blood, which is pretty nice. Battle training, Commonwealth roads, let's do that one. So the old roads that we used to link up the nation existed in these lands are pretty well done. Not very descriptive, but that's okay. Are we still demobilizing? Yeah, we are. Which means... Redding is next to Reno. 4,800 manpower, not bad. What do we have here? Selling updated equipment? Good. Alright, well, we can do it again. All but you. You're gonna hold. You're just gonna help out the attack. How much manpower do they have left? Because it's oh, somehow always, and every time I, I fight the 80s, they always end up getting more manpower. More, 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 more. I never understand how they do it. It's always that one nation in the game that kind of throws you off, and you're like, oh my goodness, how can you do it that well? Uh, what, what focus are they on? Because they should be on another focus, right? Finish Faith in the Faithful 80, huh? No, they ally something with the White Legs. We might be in trouble, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we could do that one. We could grab some other stuff. Really? Is it necessary, though? I mean, we want demo teams, one, two, three, we'll throw in some dogs, 200 guys. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one, just because we're already using it. So, that'll be good. Let's see, we got plenty enough manpower. You know what, Queen's Guard. Get some demo teams going. We should have enough, uh, here, that's be good. And doggos, we got plenty of doggos. And that'll actually help us with recon, even though we don't really need more of it. A little more breakthrough, a little more soft attack, so that'll be nice. And our manpower's going to go down again. So be it, so be it. Now we should take less losses on the attack, a little bit less, and do a little bit more damage, which is always very, very nice. Oh, we actually might win, maybe, maybe not. Old oh, Commonwealth Roads, roadside communities. Local merchants are starting to build a little trading towns on sides of the main roads and selling their goods and servicing, serving as local community hubs. A great thing to accomplish. Come on, give me that army XP. We've lost about 1,400, which I expected, against 2,200, so I think the gap is widening now about the amount of casualties that we are inflicting, which is a good thing. 14. Come on, go to war with someone else. The Great Convoy. Come on, man. Oh, that is stability. What? Wow. That must suck for them, but see, somehow they always have enough manpower. They're, like, losing nobody, which really sucks for us. Really, really sucks. Ah, biplane fighter's good. That's just going to make us stronger. What do we have here? Nothing? Why do you keep telling me that we have stuff there? And we have anti-tank, yeah. Huh. Good, good, good. Nice. I, I, I really do like, though, getting extra army XP. Give me some more civilian factories. So this way we're always building bigger industri industrial base. Anything else here? Roadside communities. Very good. Uh, battle training. Backyard scrapyards. Everyone has a bit of scrap in the backyard. Let's put it to use. Uh, we're not missing any resources, actually, either. We're doing pretty well with resources. Good. Oh, we, uh, we could have almost broken them there. That's okay, though. Hey, we actually broke them. Great job, guys. It only took forever to do. It only took thousands of our own guys' lives. That's all. It only took 1,800 of our soldiers. Uh, big disappointment. We might be attacking here next. I'm thinking we're going to attack here. One, two, three groups attacking. Or about really four, actually, down here. That is quite a few guys, but that's okay. Let's see. Money-wise, we're doing pretty well. Consumer goods. We could try that, I suppose. Sending out many prospectors. Sure, why not? Why not? Do you want to save up more political power? We cord Arroyo. We cord... We haven't cored that. Flagstaff. We cord Redding. The next place would be good is either one of these two. Which we'll probably need 255. That's not bad. Cool. Backyard Scrap Shacks. The Gamma Gulp Brewery. Gamma Gulp is a old type of brew once brewed in this part of the wasteland. By reusing some of their breweries, we can start making more of this brew. Good for us and you. And you're just going to help support the attack here. And we'll see what happens. It looks like we're actually doing a lot better here than everyone else, anywhere else. 
Yeah, look at that. Their manpower seems to be going up. I wish we could really see their conscription level. I really wish we could see that. Oh, it's slowly going back down. We can pierce them, though. Big ol' battles. Big ol' big ol' big ol' battles. Help them out. Help them out. Okay, All right, so finally you have another level we can use here. Uh, what do we want? Light touch. That's not bad. We get more attack and defense for infantry, which we're going to use a lot of anyways. Ooh, observant leader. More recon. We get... Actually, we almost never choose this one. We get a little bit less speed, but we get more recon bonus for period. And we're really trying to maximize the recon. So, for these infantry divisions, how much recon do you have now? Casually has 30 recon. That is insane. That is extremely insane. And that seems like it definitely helped out. At least a little bit. Wow. Gamagol Brewery. Gotta love it. Cool. North, uh, West, Northwest Commonwealth Army Caches. The old people who lived here seem to do a good deal of things, likely in preparation for some sort of perceived invasion from an enemy across the sea, perhaps, maybe? I don't know, maybe? Or some sort of potential mass conflict. You never know, that could have resulted eventually. You know, you never know. Uh, oh, the 80s. But at least in this time, hey, we're actually decreasing their manpower, either that or they're building more divisions. Could be either or. But at least this time, I'm actually not complaining too much. You know, I always complain about the 80s, but I could be raging about this, which I'm glad I'm not, actually. It's not always fun to rage about the same enemies all the time. Heaven's Gate High Chapel, advanced tools, very good. Get some more construction speed. How are these things going? That's good. They're going very well, actually. Very, very well. Wow. Uh, let's see, we've got enough army XP. We could probably use some more. What, do we ha what else can we put on here? Uh, we could put fire teams, but that just hurts right now. Mm, probably not recon. Probably don't need more recon on for now. Once these guys are done, that'll be great. It's all about slowly, slowly draining their ability to wage war. Nice. Thriving in the wastes. With our new tools and weapons, we are thriving pretty well in the wastes. All things, of course, considered. I mean, it is still a wasteland, so... Med, ah, oh, that's good. Medex, go and grab that one. It's only 100 days. That's not bad. Now these guys are probably getting quite a bit of army XP, which is always good to talk about. Always good to get. Always, always, always. He's level six. I just found something. Hey, look. Oh, it's for naval stuff. That sucks. Better in our hands than anyone else's hands. We've lost 2,000, 2,700 versus... Hey, that's not bad. Look at that. 5,000 enemies are dead. <sighs> Love it. Well, we're definitely having an effect on them. Hey, the map are slowly going down. Just like ours. Uh, battle training. You know what? We can do that. Let's go ahead and give me, like... Let's go here. Give me, like... Oh, actually, we have quite a few guys. We can just go ahead and do it. Battle training. We, we need to train for battle all the time. That way we'll always be ready. Yes. Always be ready. And everyone's going to get a little better. And we got plenty of generals, so we don't have to buy any more. Yes, please give me more people every month. Only 68 right now, but that's okay. Uh, mm, that's okay. So that's more outdated equipment. Mobilize people. We don't need to see that. We're already pretty good. I mean, you guys keep doing this, but uh, you ain't going to win. Mother Ska, how you are? You just became level four. You are just became level six. You just, you're level three, and then you're pretty much level four, which is fine. We're not giving up on this fight. Nope. I could do you know force attacks, but that's just going to kill off our own infantry. We don't really want to hurt our infantry that much. Over here, let's go into court because we can. Liberal manpower, less resistance needed. That is good. Let's take a look at the resistance stuff. After we do battle training, you guys come over here. You guys come over here, and you guys uh, have a good time with us. And metal detectors. Our scouts have found a neat little toy, a metal detector. We can use this to detect scrap even underground. What a neat little toy that is. I never imagined that actually I would take so long trying to kill off these guys. Then again, I should probably get some better planes. That might help. Look at all that arrow speed we've got now. It's awesome. Uh, we could keep going forward, more spank speed. Let's go with this. That's probably better. Uh, we can actually maybe upgrade you by one. Eh, nah, for now, we'll just keep doing that. That's fine. Cool, not bad, not bad. It's not great, by any means, but you know what? 
Slowly but surely, we will win this war. Ah, uh, they've less than a thousand, that's good. Occupied territories, pacifications on pretty much everything. Please come down here, and then pacification, come over here, and then pacification, come down here. Great! So you have some manpower. Military training is always good to get. Uh, specialized doctrine, let's do that one too. We just got 200 guys back. Very nice. Now, if we really want to take a ball city new Reno, that's going to take a while, but we're probably not going to do that. It just takes too long. They're very strong. And really, the scope of this campaign is just to get all of Oregon. That's really my hope here, is just to get all of Oregon. There's 17 divisions here. We could attack with quite a few. Oh, you're done attacking? No, you're not. We've lost 3,000. Uh, how many? 3,400 versus 6,700, which is pretty good. Not going to lie, that's pretty good. Get some more planes if we can. Planes are pretty necessary for what we new what we need. And we have local communities. The communities that have sprung up here are numerous and plenty. Kind of generic, but you know, whatever. Bricks? I love bricks. Especially when you throw them at your opponent's heads. Good. I'm just, I apologize that this is taking a while. It's just, it is what it is. Oh, that's okay, though. That's okay. Getting some money. Good, 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 good. I'm surprised they're not, like, attacking anyone else just yet. Like, what are they doing? They have less than 500 manpower. Oh, they're doing construction engineering. Okay. Alright, whatever. Get them some more organization. I don't want to just throw them in whenever they're ready. There you go. Learning, 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 learning. Nice. I don't mind attacking from another position of power, but we'll see what happens. Local communities and skyscrapers of the Northwest. Even the skyscrapers are starting to be reclaimed. Few rivals can, few can rival us if we settle in the greatest citadels of the old world. Yes. 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 Oh, they must be getting more manpower because they're not really lowering their. Oh, actually, never mind. They're running out of manpower, which is good. All you gotta do is drain your enemies. Drain them, drain them, drain them, drain them, drain them, drain. Good. You can't really do much against All us. Alright, my friends, sorry about that. But unfortunately, the game crashed. And unfortunately, we can no longer progress in this game. Or the game will continue to crash. Now, I don't know why the game will crash. Maybe it's because we are using the Sweet Home California submod. I don't know. But, uh, unfortunately, we cannot continue this campaign, which is kind of a bummer. I was actually really enjoying this, but then again, that's what, that's kind of okay. We're pretty much quite literally, literally now done with the focus tree with, if we were to finish Skyscrapers of the Northwest, but we can't, because, as I said, the game keeps crashing, so unfortunately, that is the campaign for us. We didn't get all of Oregon. I mean, we're, we're pretty darn close. We could easily take out the Timberline, and we would probably have at least just one more episode in this campaign to help beat up the or to beat up the Washington Brotherhood and her puppets of Port Mall in the old country. But really, that would probably only take one episode. So, unfortunately, we have to cut it here. So I apologize about that. But regardless, if you enjoyed the campaign, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.